In this video, I'll show you how to set the opacity of the project start image in your Adobe Captivate project. So many of you are probably already aware that when you publish your Adobe Captivate project to HTML5, you're going to see this project start image uh, with a play button in front of it. And the project start image by default is just a big white slide, nothing to it. But uh, many of you already know that you can customize this by selecting browse and choosing the image that you want to use from your course, such as my title slide here. Let's click OK and let's do a quick preview in HTML5 in browser. So the problem is, is that the image is set to be only 70% opacity and therefore looks a little washed out. And this can be a problem, especially if you're trying to achieve certain brand colors it's going to look like you're not following the branding of your particular client or customer. In this case here, you can actually see the image is darker and has greater contrast. So how do you fix that? Well, first of all, let's publish this project to our computer here. And I'll just call this course and we'll click publish and right over top of what's already there. And then minimize Adobe Captivate at this point here. We're going to go to my desktop where I published that to and go into the course folders. Specifically, we're going to look in the assets folder and in a folder called JS, which is short for JavaScript. There you'll see a file called cpm.js and we're going to open that up in Notepad. Now, don't be intimidated by what you're seeing here. Uh, you don't necessarily need to know what all of this stuff is. This is a very compressed uh, JavaScript file and uh, we need to find a particular entry and make a small change. You don't need to do this every single time you're previewing your course, but if you're preparing the course and getting it ready for the learning management system for the final time, this would be the time you want to make that change. So we're going to click on Edit. We're going to click on Find. And we're going to search for an entry called cp.autoplayimage.style.opacity equals 0 0.7. We're going to find that and it's going to jump right to that spot here. I can go ahead and hit cancel. And all I need to do is select the 0 0.7 and replace it with the value of 1. In other words, we're changing it from 70% opacity or 30% transparent to 100% opacity. So I'm going to go ahead and click File and Exit. It will prompt me to save that. Let's click Save. We'll go back up to the root of this particular folder and double click on the index.html and see what the results are. So there's what your start image will look like with 100% opacity. Let's look at the old version. Yeah, that looks so washed out. Let's go back to the new version again. Perfect. And of course, this image will match the image on my title slide 100%. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.